Hello, hello everybody. In this practice, let's do not waste our time and start with some Lajin. In today's practice, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Pidawajin orders. Uh, Lajin orders, sorry. And we'll um, tell you how I practice um, most of the time. Many people ask me, actually not many, but <laughs> enough. They ask me um, if I practice, uh, how I practice Lajin, in which order. So I'll do it from the to toe in this practice. Actually, this is, I think, the most safe uh, way to practice uh, Ovajin exercises. Because we don't usually do every time Ovajin exercises. Um, most of the time I do only uh, Lajin on the bench, you know, in reclining position. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of Lajin exercises now. And in, in the exact order. Okay, let's start. You see how I'm doing the neck Lajin first. Okay. Uh, if someone watches um, right now, can you tell me in the chat if 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 I am kind of if the connection is bad? Okay, so okay, I'll lay for four minutes for the neck gym. So four minutes will start right now. This is my variation of neck gym. It's kind of combination between Nekwa Jin and Supta Badha Konasana. My legs, if you don't see, they are in the butterfly pose. I always cover my, my pelvis to be protected by the wind, from the wind. And I'll stay in the neck Jin for four minutes. Uh, from time to time, I'm practicing all the Lajin exercises. If you practice all of them, it is kind of carpet bombing from Lajin, you know. They, you cover many, many meridians, uh, unblock a lot of places. It's very good from time to time to uh, do all the Lajin stretches, at least for a little bit. Neck Wajin is very good for the mood. I, I enjoy it very much. Uh, it's like uh, feeling more calm every time I do it. Give me uh, better mobility in the shoulders and the upper back. If we combine neck margin with some other margin stretches, it's very good stretching. It's very good combination. Like uh, if we practice neck margin before or after a margin in reclining position, it increases its effects. Uh, same as with uh, margin in like uh, Y margin. I felt a little pop in my neck. This is a very good sign of adjustment. Not happen every time. Still don't feel any pain. A little numbness. Just a little in the uh, top of my fingers.
Sometimes I'm trying um, to relax my neck mentally uh, to be able to feel the hanging more because it's kind of reflex to contract the neck. and not let it relax and just hanging. Okay, now I started to feel just, just a little pain somewhere in the armpits. Feels more good than bad. Okay, the four minutes passed, but I'm gonna stay like 15 more seconds because I uh, lost a lot of time in the preparation. Okay, slowly but surely. This is very good practice to feel the comfort. There is some message in the chat, but I can't read it. Uh, probably some problem with keyboard. Okay, the next stretching is the gym for the shoulders. This is how I'm doing it here. I use my Lajin bench. This is also a good idea for you to try it. As you see, I have my screen. It's going to be way easier for me to make these live streams. Okay, so I place the hands right, right like that. I make a little step. Unfortunately, you can't see my feet, but they are pointing straight. And let's do like three minutes each, uh, each leg. Okay. Mm, now the, the stretching feels very good though. There's a little annoying sound from my phone. Okay, I'm doing it now with left leg straight and then I need to switch. So again, I, I use this order from neck to toe um, because usually when you start to adjust bones, you are uh, again starting with, uh, with the neck. You, you always start with um, upper parts of the body because um, this is the most safe way. If you start from, from the feet, um, then uh, we will be kind of more dangerous. Uh, at least I feel so. Sometimes because the energy moves up from the feet, and if you have some problems on the upper body, uh, there could uh, happen a really uncomfortable healing crisis. Mm. Okay, a little pain started to appear. In my right shoulder, but it is my more problem, problematic shoulder, the right shoulder. Okay. These are long three minutes. This stretching goes really deep in the shoulders. Whew. 
I can feel stretching in my right hip also. This is going to be a long video actually if someone wants to um, if someone wants to look at the PIDA, I'm going to do the PIDA after all the gym exercises. Um, I, I planned to do the gym exercises and then the and then the PIDA on the ankle. The, we're going to make a 20 minutes PIDA on the ankle. Again, as you can see, now the right leg steps front and we're, I'm making the same stretching exercise. Oh. The, the, the shoulder watching is um, very painful for people who have sh shoulder problems. Um, one of the most painful watching exercises, in my opinion, it is because maybe because I have problems with my shoulders uh, because of the break dancing. So yeah, doing the doing the gym poses from head to toe. Next virgin. What do you uh, which virgin do you think is gonna be the next? I think that if we follow this order from neck to toe, we should do the squatting virgin. And of course, we should finish with the uh, wajin on the this wajin that is on uh, standing board. Wow, my, my left shoulder is three minutes are nothing for my left shoulder, but for my right shoulder. Not the same, but every time it feels better after doing all the gym stretches. Actually, when you do the practice like this, all the gym stretches um, for a little bit, it gives you huge uh, comfort, comfort in the body. Like if you do all the gym stretches just for three minutes, uh, the comfort increase in the body is very noticeable. You you must be like the most unaware man in the world in the, in the world to not notice this thing you know it gives you a lot of comfort in the body every time i do this uh, practice when i go to to the practice i mean the breakdancing practice i have this huge comfort in the body uh, and because i feel so comfortable it's easy to me to to make my moves look really uh, really confident uh, and um, I, I can feel them because I enjoy them and because I enjoy them I dance better uh, everyone sees it I can express my character better you know if you feel good in your body uh, many things are good mm. of course the unblocking effect is not that big I look kind of like Spider-Man or there is a very famous uh, photo of squatting swaths in drug suits. <laughs> One Slavic uh, person is squatting like this. So I am also a Slavic person. So this is, this is a squat Slav. Slav squat, not squat Slav. Okay, let's do it for five minutes, this thing. But let me grab my coffee. Usually for the slabs, 
who squat in front of their of their building where they live. There is vodka and babushka material, but I do it with coffee. So grabbing my feet, squatting. Uh, squatting Mojin is uh, the second, the second uh, most opening Mojin. Like the, the Mojin that opens our body the most is the Mojin in reclining position. But the second one is the squatting Mojin. It opens a lot of places in our bodies. Ankles knees, lower back, upper back, neck, uh, but stretches uh, different in different way, you know. Uh, and it's a very good combination between squatting Wajin and Wajin in reclining position because usually uh, where the squatting Wajin is not that great of stretching, uh, reclining position covers it. Uh, and and vice versa, where the reclining position the, cannot touch our body, like to stretch it, uh, squatting with jeans stretches it. I usually squat every morning, and I squat so much that. Um, I don't feel it even like a practice anymore. It uh, most almost it mostly feels like um, uh, like part of my day, which I don't even consider as a practice because I drink my coffee and do some work actually in the mornings. The only disadvantage of this thing is that because I usually put my laptop in front of me and uh, do some work, and I don't stretch my upper back. This is it, but all the other parts are still stretching. Uh, so it's not like complete squatting origin, but still works uh, very well. Uh, so I usually grab a banana, grab my coffee and a cup of water, drink water, coffee, then the banana, doing some work, answering some messages. And uh, this, is, this is actually how my morning starts. Uh, and I... Sometimes when I wake up and sit on the chair <laughs> to drink my coffee, I feel uncomfortable, like, well, I miss my squatting version and I go to squat again. So it's, when you get used to it, it's very, very cool. Um, the body wants it. The body feels that this is very good. Uh, also, this Ulajin is the most, the most, like, uh, shareable Ulajin. If you want to share uh, your friend something about Paidawa Jin, you can start with squatting position because usually people do not like Paidawa Jin. This thing that uh, some people love in some practice, fall in love in some practice from first sight, from first sight, it's never happened with Paidawa Jin. <laughs> even, with, even with me, you know, no one, no one loves slapping himself and stretching to the pain, but it's very good to share people about squatting with Jin because you just say to them, hey, you know, squatting with Jin is the most natural pose for our body to have a little rest if we don't have our chairs, you see. And if you squat, you are mobilizing a lot of your ligaments and you it's good for man, maintain, maintaining um, the mobility of the body and it's also great for constipation and you will feel it you know <laughs> and it's very good to add it through the day uh, because everyone can squat for a little bit you know you you need nothing no, doesn't matter if you wear shoes or some uh, you know, if, if, you, if you're at home, everyone can have 
a few minutes to squat. And people usually like it a lot, it's very natural. Telling them to squat is like telling them to drink more water or other easy healthy habits. Like it, this is like squatting is very easy and healthy habit. Uh, it you 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 like uh, add more warmth to your digestive system. You stretch your lower back. You stretch your uh, Achilles and knees, and it feels good. You know, I got a. I got my friend who is a cameraman. He is action cameraman. He runs with the camera, and he he's operator, you know. And um, he uses squatting watch in uh, in his work because he wears this uh, super heavy cameras, professional cameras. And he says that that squat uh, is really helping him, and he's very thankful for me that I've seen him. So he's not a pilot or gym guy, but likes squatting. So what else? Um, we did neck, shoulder version, squatting version. Next, I I want to be the lojin in reclining position. Let's do it for five minutes for each leg. Okay, ready, set, go. Five minutes grabbing this thing. Always, always keep your keep you safe from the cold wind. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. The five minutes. I'm gonna restart the timer. Five minutes, go. Ah, very nice. And this is my attachment here. I use it and I love it. Usually five minutes are for people like me that practice Lajin uh, from so much, so, so many time, from so long period of time, uh, is nothing five minutes. But um, yeah, it's nothing. But if you do all the Lajin stretches, it's not nothing. You know, it, it's like uh, it's good. It's good because today I'm doing it for the comfort. I want to feel some comfort in my in my body. Yesterday, I had a strong session, like b-boying session. I danced a lot, and I have some. I had some discomfort here and there because of the moves, and now I want just to feel good again. And I'm one hundred percent sure that it will help. It's very good to have you guys to share my practice. Some of you are still watching live. It's amazing for me. Thank you a lot. Well, Jim in reclining position stretches all the 12 major meridians in the body. Urinary bladder meridian, which is behind the legs. Uh, and the lower back, like these areas are stretched. Um, it stretches in some, in some parts, the meridians which are inside the leg. It stretches the meridians that are in front of the hip, like in the, in the lower leg. Um, stretches the meridians in the hands because, because we lift the hands like this. Uh, especially the heart and pericardium meridians, the, um, the 
small intestine and uh, triple warmer meridians are stretched. It's like opening so many parts of the meridians that and that and that is why it's so effective. The more you stay, the more deep goes the unblocking. That's why the more you stay, the more the most like the blocked parts start to to hurt because the energy starts to 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 dig deep, you know, in, in the blockages. Usually in the daily life, uh, the blocked parts of meridians does not have this uh, huge energy flow uh, because the meridians are not open uh, because of our daily postures. Uh, but now we open our body in many places, like many joints. Um, and the energy flows with high speed. And the more energy enters the blocked parts, the more healing is happening. And the more healing is happening, the more garbage is um, evacuating. And during this evacuation of the garbage, during this unblocking, during this unblocking, um, we feel the biggest pain. Same happening with the blood. Because I have this room now, before I didn't have it, um, and now I'll be able to stream more practices. <laughs> Okay, just to change to the other leg. In this little room, I have all I need for very good practice. But in the same time, I pay for it as well. <laughs> so, thanks everyone who buys my courses or donates. It's uh, really, I really appreciate it. In the same time, I put this money back to this channel to be able to make more and better videos being here for you when you need me. Okay, five minutes. Let's go. Uh, actually, you can ask me questions in the chat section, but could be that you don't have uh, any questions. Hmm. Oh, when I lift my right leg, I feel the adjustment happening in real time. Yesterday we had a talk with uh, one guy. I never say any names. Uh, he is a subscriber of mine uh, and gained a lot of interest in Pythagogen because you know my channel I usually talk a lot about premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction because this was my problems uh, but he does not have this he got some other uh, health issues 
But anyways, he is a aware guy of his body and um, loves Allah a lot. And he asked me about the right Lajin order. And that's why I got inspired to make this video. Uh, so my, my logic is this from head to toe is because it's uh, the way that it's less harmful for the body. Um, and, but, but actually, uh, but he said like, uh, his logic is that to make other watching exercises first and uh, to finish with Lajin in the reclining position because uh, this stretching goes deeper than, than every one of them. Um, it's good that he trusts his instincts uh, because he could be right, you know, never know, uh, you never know. But there are two things like, first of all, there is no wrong way of doing Lajin, uh, a Lajin order. Like, you cannot do it wrong. It's like, uh, I think you, I think you got what I'm saying. It's just to combine, it is good to combine the Lajin practices. It's not a, so big, of, it's not so important, uh, the order. Um, probably there is the best order and the worst order, but even the worst order is very good for the health. So don't worry about these details too much. Uh, but my opinion actually is not, it's not like the allogenic reclining position goes deeper, but it's actually, it goes in the same depth as every, other virgin practice, but it opens the most places for sure. And um, still don't know who is right and who is wrong. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is to practice. But yeah, I I, I usually don't place the the, the last. And uh, it's very good for you to experiment. That's why actually I talk so much uh, in these videos because uh, what I want is you to be the boss of your practice, not me. Um, I just can help, just can say a lot of things, just can like talk about many aspects of the practice. If you ask me for my opinion, I can give it. But um, what I really want is you to be the boss of your practice. Um, because I started this channel with a lot of talking about sexual improvements from Pinewood Gin. And I did Pinewood Gin video, the acupressure video, uh, the yoga video. And there is one guy who tasted me more than half a year after he he was daily trying these things and he he texted me that uh, he is cured from this premature ejaculation and he said me that you know you are right for everything but you see this guy did it by himself not even single single question and I'm and I'm super happy about it because I don't think of him. He's he's uh, he can do the things by himself. You know, this makes me happy. Uh, he don't need me. Uh, let's see. Oh, my good friend Justin. Oh, you're welcome, Justin. You're welcome. Uh, of course, this video is long. I do not expect anyone to be here. Um, usually, I will announce uh, practices like this. Uh, oh. Right now, I'm thinking about doing these practices every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, four days a week, four days a week. Um, yeah, for, I will try to do it four days a week. Um, and to make stretchings and to make paida 
and we pile up to, to make a carpet bombing. You know, usually when I don't have enough time, I plan to do only pile up because I want the carpet bombing to move. Uh, but I'm still wondering if it's good to make carpet bombing or just four main areas in every video. It's time for the Y Legion. Let's see, it will be first Y Legion in this room. Let's see if I have enough space to do it like that to spread my legs Jesus Christ, how perfect is this? <laughs> Great, okay, I don't set any timer now, but I'll try to hit the five minutes by intuition. It's kind of weird camera angle that you're watching. <laughs> you can't see my face. But this will be just for five minutes. Uh, Yo Jin is very good Jin to to see your your one side blockages in the body. You can very easily sense which uh, side is more blocked because it is the side that is the hip. And the, that is more blocked, uh, hurts more, and this is the uh, the mo your more blocked part. In me, this is the right hip. Okay, what we did was neck region. Shoulder wajin, then squatting wajin, then wajin in reclining position, then the Y wajin. We did already the five wajin exercises. And the next one of the classical wajin exercises is the is the wajin on the standing board. I will do one more Wajin, which is the M Wajin. You see it, I've never showed it because uh, probably most of you won't be able to do it. But people uh, think that this is one of Wajin practices, so I'll do it anyway. But I'll do it just for two minutes because I have my doubts that uh, many of you won't be able to do the M Wajin. There was uh, one of my subscribers who subscribed in my channel from a very long period of time. A uh, very good person who reminded me of Emlogen uh, that I never showed it. Actually, I practice it, but don't show it. <sighs> okay, probably. Two and a half minutes passed already.
I will just remain quiet for a little bit. Okay, maybe four minutes past, I'll stay a little bit more. And actually guys, uh, let me know if you like videos like this, um, like with full practices uh, to practice with me, or you think that it's better to have discussions more. Uh, because I'm still wondering how to treat this channel. Um, I don't know how I can be more uh, helpful for you. I see that these posts that I'm making in the community are very good for you. You are enjoying them and most of your uh, questions are actually asked in the posts. So this is one thing that I know for sure that is very good for everybody. It's very good way to remind you very, um, just for a little time for important things in the practice. Okay, I think that five minutes passed already. is what they call it in yoga, Sukta Virasana. Your feet are like this, you see, like that. Not like this, because this is called Vajrasana, but like this. Because of this shape of the letter M, it's called the M Lajin. And this is how you do the M Lajin. So you just lay and again place your hands like this. I'm just going to lay for two minutes, something like two minutes, because I have my doubts that. Um, majority of you guys can do that actually in some countries the people are more flexible than the others like brazil guys are usually more flexible india um, guys from africa are more flexible than europeans and the guys from united states for example you see where we have technology and stuff, the people are uh, less flexible. Except in Japan, because in Japan they have tradition of sitting on the floor and they are usually have this flexibility. Uh, they have meetings while sitting on the floor or squatting uh, and that's why they they are more flexible than the people in other developed countries. The emulogen, what is good for? For digestion problems, especially for diarrhea. This emulogen, if you can do it and you have diarrhea, it's very good to add it in your daily routine because 
Um, if you do it like, for example, at least five minutes, you have very good results in diarrhea. I, strong, I strongly believe so. I have this kind of problems from time to time and Amlogen helped me a lot. It stretches a lot the stomach meridian. It's obvious actually. Because the stomach meridian is in the front part of the legs and the body, unlike the trunk, the, the chest. Okay, I think that's enough from the M Login. Oh, oh my god. Oh, after after this version is good to squat to squat a little bit. Um, it will help for the ankles. So, wow! So many bots are making com <laughs> comments in the chat section. I don't know what's the point of it, but maybe there is some. Okay, for the Anko for this watching on the board, on the standing board. I need to make a little replacement here. Please be patient. It will take one minute. No, even less. So this is, I don't have a uh, standing board, my own standing board and I, this is how I'm going to make my standing board. I just use my cajon, place my foam roller here, and there it is. We have a standing board. But, and of course, I will remove my socks because, because I usually slip up. So I'm gonna stretch on the standing board. It's it's very good uh, this thing like with foam roller, a yoga mat, and uh, something like this microphone, or you can just use a simple plank. Um, because you can you uh, decrease and increase the the angle. Like right now, I'm gonna make it a little more stretchy, like this. Yeah, I feel it way more now. So I'm gonna sit on this. I'm gonna stay on this uh, for uh, for three minutes or four minutes. My longest session on the on the board were. Uh, half an hour. Very good stretch. I feel it up till my my spine. <clears throat> this video took a bit long. But you need to know how one daily pile of a gym looks like, right? Okay. Okay, this was experiment for me like this video because it's a, it's too long video and too, too long uh, live session and I think that it's actually a better idea to, to upload shorter videos. At least now I, I feel it like that. But please let me know guys how do you think. Um, 
if it's good to upload two videos like this in a week or one or just from time to time. Okay. Okay, I think it's enough for the legit understanding word. So what we did is what we did is that we did all the Wajin stretches. Now I feel the comfort in my body already. Um, and I know that when I go to trainings, I have a lot of power and comfort in my body. I'm sure about that. Okay. So we're gonna make a little pause, just a little pause. I'm gonna uh, be right back in 40 seconds or one minute. Okay, I'm, I'm here again, and now it's time for the the pile up. I'll use the slapper because for this area the slapper works very good. I'm gonna apply pile on on my foot, on my right foot, and I'll do it for 20 minutes. And after this, we're gonna call it a day. This session is really took too long. I actually probably won't, won't do that anymore, but okay, 20 minutes. Let's decrease this angle right here and go. 20 minutes of Python. Um it may sound weird for you, but this area is very good for headache. And actually, sorry about that. What we have here is three meridians. We got gallbladder meridian, bladder meridian, and the liver meridian. They are on this part of the foot, and all of these meridians goes through the head. And actually, today, I feel just a little headache in my right side of the body. So that's why I choose uh, today to unblock this area. Usually, acupuncturists uh, who are doing it in a traditional way, uh, they use this, uh, they use a lot of the points on the foot uh, to treat headache. There are very important points on the, of the liver, gallbladder, and the urinary bladder meridians. Also, good area for the sex life, for the ligaments, and for the problems in the region of the head. All of these meridians goes to the head. Even the liver meridian goes inside the body, enters the head, and not that superficial as I showed you in this chart, but goes inside the body 
and finish it somewhere here uh, to the top. Gallbladder is finished somewhere here um, on this part of the of the head, and the urinary bladder meridian goes right here. You see, like uh, from the beginning of this practice, there are uh, now it is twenty, uh, it is fifty-six minutes, and actually, this is how much I practice every day. Um, till the end of this video will be something like hour and twenty minutes, and you see that actually we cover a lot of places, and it's not too much, right? It's not not too much at all. Hmm. Uh, if you want to buy a slapper like this, I actually sell slappers in uh, European Union, but uh, at these slappers, I don't sell them personally, especially this because these are original slappers. I am affiliate, uh, like not selling it personally, but personally and you can ask me for a slapper like this and I can send you no matter where you are on the planet Earth. Actually my my partner will send him. You may know him uh, if you search a lot about Pidogen. His name is Kamen Filipov and he's also from Bulgaria and is one of the best uh, Pidovagen promoters in the world, in my opinion. Uh, he also sells these benches. Uh, so you can buy it from them, but if you buy it from me, like uh, if you order them from me, I will uh, have a little commission on it. So uh, the price is absolutely the same, uh, but if you order this from me, I will have a little commission. It's really little. Uh, not gonna make you rich, but it's a very good way to support the channel. Um, the prices of this lapper, but this lapper is the best because you can slap on the knees where a lot of, of uh, a lot of uh, bones. You can slap the head very good. It's better than the hand because with the hand it's very, very shaky for the brain, but with slapper it's like only superficial on the skin. Um, and you can slap here, of course, we, and here it hurts a lot, it's the best slapper for places like this. Uh, so it's 95 level, which is something like, something like 42, 43 euro, something like 43 euro. It's, it's expensive, I know, but it's good. So I have, I personally bought three of these slappers for myself in that price here in Bulgaria and I'm like not, not a rich person at all but I use them daily and if you use them they are cheap if you don't use them they are expensive the benches are because this is foldable bench you can see it can fold um, the benches let me see let me count it. It's about 400 leva, but with some additions, I don't know. It's about 200 euro. But this is without shipment and stuff like that. <sighs> Okay, we clean the liver, the gallbladder. It's a very good area actually for detoxification. Like if you have some, uh, if you, if you suspect that you have uh, problems with the liver, uh, this is very good area because in the same time you cover the gallbladder and the liver, 
uh, meridians and, and they help a lot about the gallbladder and liver organs and you know that they are together, they work together. together. Um, liver produces the bile, the bile enters the gallbladder and from the gallbladder when we eat, especially something with a lot of fat uh, in it, the gallbladder uh, contracts and through a, through a channel enters the small intestine, the part that is called duodenum, the first part of the, of the small intestine. And this bile that is um, accumulated in the gallbladder is helping for, for uh, making the, the lipids, the fats that we intake in very small drops and then with uh, and then they they can be uh, metabolized with the enzymes from the from the intestines and the pancreas that through to fatty acids but the, but if we don't have a good working gallbladder and liver, this is not gonna happen. So very good area for detoxification and improving the health of the digestive system. Eleven more minutes. This is a long, long session, right? It's like a course. <laughs> it's like a full course. <laughs> See how one pyrogen session looks like. In the same time, it's good for me because I, when I practice pyrogen, I do it separately. Like usually, all these practices, I split them during the day. Um, it's like I'm stretching, then having a little rest, talking with my girlfriend, doing some work, then again stretch, then stretch again, then again. And probably like uh, after the after going to make to do some work in the town, I move back home, get back home, and do some pida. Um, and right now, I'm gonna do all at once, and I'm gonna like I'm not gonna need to practice more for the day. Wow! Actually, now I feel that really this this little headache that I used to have in my right right part of, right part of the head is gone man Jesus it's good maybe in some parts of it it, it is still there but in the majority of the of the parts it's it's not very nice And this is only the 10th minute, probably to the end of the practice, uh, the effect will increase. Let me just remove the sock to be able to uh, to have better effect. As you can see, I, I have no shock. But uh, I know that the, I have blockages here because I feel the pain somewhere here, maybe more on the urinary bladder meridian. But I'm sure that there is there is a blockage, and I am blocking it, and I move the energy. It's just like I don't have a lot of shock accumulated there.
I slap really hard, I don't know if you can see and feel, but it's really hard. Look at my veins, Jesus Christ, <laughs> they became so big, you can see that Paida have this, you see, this vasodilatation effect, vasodilatation means that uh, our blood vessels increase their, uh, this thing, sorry, I know, the diameter that they have, uh, this is vasodilatation, means that they open, it became more white. And the vasoconstriction means the opposite, like vasoconstriction means that blood vessels are contracting. And of course they can carry less blood than usual. Um, many people believe that actually the, the sex life is increasing uh, while practicing pyzoogen because of its vasodilatative effect. Uh, I'm still wondering how it works exactly on the physiological level. Of course, I know some things. It detoxicates. Uh, it, uh, it evacuates a lot of garbage accumulated like salts. It increases the blood flow, the lymph flow uh, in this area. But I, but I still like. Um, but I still explain it with the invisible energy way better than this because when I look at meridians and look at what meridians do, like read on the internet, it uh, really explains it better than... Because if you just look at our physiology that we, are, uh, that we used to study in school, or in university, you cannot explain how this thing cures headache. You know, the, there is one very interesting author. Uh, forgot him name, but he's about uh, money stuff. Like uh, he he had this book, The Black Swan. Uh, ah, Nassim Taleb, Nassim Taleb, and in. I was very surprised that in this man's book, um, they are like um, he, he he is very interested about probabilities in life, and especially on the stock market. You see, <laughs> uh, but he's interested about probabilities, and he have his opinion on medicine, uh, modern medicine, and. He said that there are many people that re that feel relief in their headache when someone points a needle, like a needle, points a needle in their feet when their feet. So he said that we we still have to learn a lot in the medicine because it's not like everything is with this logic that we use in modern medicine. He said that there is something more, probably, 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 because he likes this, you know, um, probabilities. And I still like explaining the pyrogen better with uh, with the energy, invisible energy explanations. Oh, and. One thing is for sure, when you start practicing a lot of Pido Wajin, you, you feel the same, like, um, you feel the improvement, you're wondering why there is this, why is this improvement, you are like reading articles and learning about the human body, but you can't get this conclusion, why this is helping so much, 
Um, and sooner or later, people start to get interested about in in like in. in the invisible energy in my opinion we are created there is some very huge intelligence like very big intelligence that way 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 bigger than others and we can imagine we can think about it it's huge, extremely big intelligence that made us maintain this, this universe and this world. And I think that he made the world like you can treat yourself. Uh, and this intelligence does not want money from us. <laughs> um, In my opinion, you can't buy health. Money can help for your health 100%. Not saying this, but but like there is a way to to be free with Pythagorean. Of course, Pythagorean is not panacea. You cannot treat everything with Pythagorean, and we, we always should ask our doctors because. We can have some disease that is not good to slap. Uh, and I can think of some disease like this. You see, if you have fracture on the bones, you, you don't need to slap on the fractured place. Uh, if you have something with uh, like abscess or stuff, you, you don't need to slap on this. Um, you need to slap away from this. Uh, and still can help, but on it and very very close to it is not a good idea uh, when you have some disease on the teeth it's again not not good to slap there are some and always we should ask our doctors but in the same time we should always listen to our hearts because we can ask some doctor and he can just say that it's not good to slap because he don't like it, you know. Uh, I because I'm myself a very medical, medical doctor, and I know some. Uh, actually, this was the end of the practice. I'm just gonna finish with this stuff. And because I'm myself a medical doctor, I'm uh, I finished veterinary school, veterinary university, and I'm open. To these teachings so i'm open to try open a lot uh, for me but many of my colleagues i know them they are not they are not they they think that pythogen is super stupid thing actually uh, my roommate very smart and he was one of the best students in the in the university and we lived together in uh, in that time i practiced a lot of yoga and i had my back pain and I cured it with some yoga exercises, like reduced the pain a lot. Now I know that Pythagorean is better for back pain, but then I didn't. And some months later, he had back pain. And he looked at me how I cured it. Never tried yoga because he think, just thinks that yoga is stupid. Like yoga is something for crazy people. Uh, and he started with some physical exercise like pull ups stuff. Didn't help, of course. Uh, and but never tried yoga, even till this day. <laughs> like it was, it's maybe five years, no, even more, six years now. And I'm, I'm sure that he never tried something like this. Uh, so yeah, so always listen to your heart. This. I think that is the most important thing. Um, the doctors and your heart <laughs> in the same time. Thank you so much for your watching. I know this was a very long video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I didn't bore you. 
uh, with this video and um, see you in the next one. We're going to make a lot more discussion videos right now as I have this place. And I'm going to make a lot of, uh, actually, tell me what, what kind of video you want to see. I'm going to make a video about uh, types of slappers. I'm going to make a video about this, actually, one of the idea types of slappers. Um, I'm going to make many other discussions for sure. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I needed to, to read this. Um, and yeah, I'm, I think that I will make some carpet bombing video by video, like starting with four main areas. Like this was the first video actually with four main areas. Uh, the, the, the feet. Then I'm gonna make it with other parts of the foot, uh, then the elbows, wrists, and knees. And I will decide if I'll go again with, with this uh, four main areas on, or I'll make a video uh, videos, I will continue with carpet bombings. But for sure, I'm gonna make video about pied on the head, um, groins, you see, okay. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye and have a good day.